Good evening guys, happy Wednesday, welcome to my channel, I'm Harry Bishop and I make photography content and gaming content, and join me tonight for another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, mission playthrough. Right, who should we go to tonight? I think maybe Dutch again. Hope you guys have all had a good day. Oh, hey Arthur. Yo, Sean. Let's see what Dutch needs. I oh, know, not Dutch. Uh, Pearson, maybe. Yeah, let's see what Pearson needs. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon. I'm What's going on here? Somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, <laughs> Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. What's wrong, Sadie? My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell nice. you, you keep me here. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Children. Come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Ooh. Ooh. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. <laughs> are you coming with me then, woman? Oof, I don't like that line. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> oh, to be yeah. fair, she's been through a lot. Losing her husband in them mountains and things like that. You cool down then yet? Yeah. Oh, this wagon is pretty slow. No, I ain't oh, it's because we're still in camp, that's why. I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are you reading Just here. Now? Oh, Robin and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health area, has not deteriorated it? further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen Ooh. to this. Since we last corresponded, bit of a I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. Sorry. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, there. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we say, Tacitus Kilgore. New, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore. Okay, we're parking up here. Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? No guns and rights. It was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So, you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing <laughs> soon enough. That camera angle just doing? now. I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Scooch up the speed a bit. 
dog's taking a piss again, so far. Let's check the mail. Uh, which? I'm guessing this one? Station clerk? Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Nice. Simple enough. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. No problems there. All right, let's go with the Sadie. Pardon me. <laughs> What's she doing? Newborn had more strength than you, and he came out brat blue. I'm trying. Oh, she's changed costume. <laughs> she must use the restroom. Brilliant. I love little interactions like this. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Dang, I can't get rid of all the brain flies. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. <laughs> Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. Yeah, woman, lady. All stupid yeah. names. So, okay, so Sadie's steering the so. wagon on this occasion, not me. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like True. I told you. My husband and I What's shared the all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. <laughs> That's I an awesome area, isn't it? playing the harmonica before. Who's this well, guy? My house and everything I owned got burned to the ground. It did. I know. Up in the mountains. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just. Oh yeah, you need to buy her the, get her the harmonica, don't you? Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Look at that meadow mm -hmm. the grass, and the grassland. It's awesome. Just don't kill the camp cook. Well, what's happening here? Hey there. Hey. Uh oh. What uh? What you folks up to? Just <laughs> heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. obsessed with the Civil War. Oh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get. That music is awesome. What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. We're fine. That music is awesome. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Well, wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. Call her Sadie for crying out loud, man. Okay there, Sadie. Of course. You think I can't handle these dudes? Told you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember asking you to prove it. What? There we go. Only one pair of goddamn bullets, you sons of bitches. Lady, you are enjoying this far too much. Damn it, man. Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward! All right. We're good here, Arthur. Not shooting. Hardly, that All was right. terrible. I'll drive us back. What was I doing? No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful! We showed All we had to do was remain time. inconspicuous, but me, although I didn't do too too good, that was a fun little sheet out. That's good. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Yep. So fast, Arthur. 
Yep, that's my bad. Are you gonna tell Dutch? We'll be fine. Maybe. If he asked. But maybe not. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. <laughs> I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to think in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. <laughs> you didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, we delivered your letter. I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping. <laughs> yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done we me a big favor Arthur. today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. Right. Silver, nice. I've got another Leopold Strauss mission, but I'm not really in the mood for doing those. Let's go see the Berets. Why not? I think we've still got some time. Yeah. My horse, my horse, my kingdom for a horse. Arthur. Not now. Uh -oh. I'll do with you. Hey. Ah, sunset. Lovely. Let's Dusk. Go, boy. Let's go, boy. Let's do it. Distractions. Just riding. It's a tight corner, I keep missing it. <laughs> the pig noises. Oh, doors. The moon. Beautiful. I've got a stupid smile on my face right now. Dutch has asked the gang to not use weapons or cause trouble in roads. Ooh, Dutch's name has just appeared on the map. But we'll go a bit later. See, it's still a bit dusty. Oh, this is where that Gavin goes, isn't it? Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? <laughs> Away. I forgot how much of a way it was. There we are, just down there. Caligar Hall, bounty $70 still. Oh, this place is amazing. Shame it didn't come here during the day, I should have thought about that really. Oh well. Look at that. The moon. What do you want, Fellas. Boy? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. Alright. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Ask around Kelly Hall to find out more about the Greys, okay? Let's go ask this cleaner. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... <laughs> I ain't no one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. 
wood Boy, stove. All the time in the world. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Can't use it, but it's cool. There we go. I see him. He was outside the sheriff's office yesterday. Great. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. <laughs> that music. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? <laughs> Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. <laughs> the Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. <laughs> Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Cool, okay. Hey, you better follow that order, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? music. Those hills. <laughs> so good. the guards okay but this fog is doesn't help don't appear to be any guards around here Can't 
Come on. So her there? Yeah. Nice. Did it. Cool. Hello, Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh, oh that music is lovely. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's True. different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got True. a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except just I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Okay, that should be fine. <laughs> Let's take a bite. In the moonlight. Love the fog effect, that's so awesome. Pull, pull, stroke, stroke. Nice. Brilliant. Uh, silver, getting good at getting this. Don't come out to water, sir. Oh, need to get better at steering. Oh, am I running out of stamina? Probably. There we go. Cool. There we yeah. go. Nice. Okay, back to camp. That was cool. I enjoyed that mission. We got two missions tonight, which is cool. I'm spoiling you. Yo. Rolling through the fields. Reminds me of um, Django Unchained. Hear that train whistle? That was awesome. Alright, we're not too far from camp. Look at that there, beautiful. Animation is so good. Do, 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 do. And final beer to the left. All the animal noises and everything to say, kid. Who's there? Arthur! 
Awesome, that little sound was funny. Let's go get some sleep, eh? Oh, hey, Arthur. Hey, Sean. Not right now, dude. Get changed. Change clothing. Baller's outfit. Arthur needs a haircut, I think. Uh, sleep. Sleep till noon. Ten hours. Strauss. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you guys soon. Good night.